Okay. Just a little blitz today. Actually just tried to make a number of uh, videos with Reinar and Blitz and like people just disconnect in the lobby or uh, like disconnect shortly into the game. I tried several times and it just would not fire. I had a Reinar mirror in which, uh, yep, here we go, dominate just as expected. Oh, just filtering their hand. Hopefully I don't get pummeled. Um, oh, because they don't have tectonic, that's why. Um, yeah, I was playing a Reinar mirror in which the Reinar just like didn't bring gambler's gloves and then rolled a one and quit. <laughs> so that was uh, pretty funny. Um, what do I do? Do I set up Frost Texas? I kind of don't think so. Although they are running Null Rune 4. Maybe I should set them up. Just to see if they're trying to fatigue me here. So if... mm. Yep, none floating, might as well. Uh, yep, not trying to fatigue me. Whoops, should have been paying attention. Should have arsenal the other card. Oh, uh, yep, here we go. 4 7. Okay, well, fortunately, this lines up pretty well. I can block and block. And then. Oh, I want an arsenal. Not a scolding yet. Probably just an ice vein. Well, this is my one get out of jail free card here. Uh, I'll just pass. Yep, I will pay one. And deny them an arsenal. Oh, no. Did two damage. Okay, well, this is going okay, actually. I think. <laughs> Hopefully they do something like activate Bravo here so I can interrupt them with the Ice Vein. And I don't have a hand of all reds. Yeah, that Frost X play was not great. They just double sigil. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's also not great. Okay, Spinal here. Coming in hot. Um, hmm. So if I take three, I got a 15. I still don't have an arsenal. But yeah, we're just going to do that. This lines up pretty well. Well, I didn't know I was going to stall for a turn. Otherwise, I would have put the Meritist in there, but ha, ah, joke's on you. Less life. <laughs> Threatening one more point. Whoa. Well, that's not great. We'll see. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is not great because they're kind of going to run me out of cards at this rate. But they can only have so many big cards left, right? So three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, that's not enough. Well, 
So I could deal six here. They have nothing up. Deal six, take five. Yeah, I think that's the play. Give up our combo card, but... Problem is we get crushed, so I can't save an arsenal here. But that's okay. This is a good, good exchange, I think. Going to 10 isn't great, but they left themselves wide open, so it's kind of just like... Um, hopefully I don't straight up die, and then I can save a card. That was pretty good. We'll see how much they threaten, because I could just E-strike snaps, E-strike here. Um, which I'm kind of inclined to do. That takes their whole hand with no armor, and then uh, buys me all of the tempo. And I can kind of do that again. Okay, they did not activate Bravo here to get the six. So I think that they're looking for a pummel and an arsenal. Because otherwise, why would you? Uh, why would you not do that? But I think I'm gonna. Hmm. The other thing is, I could block for three, threaten seven. Arsenal Emeritus, maybe that's better here. Block for three, take seven, not great. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do though, because I have Tunic up as well. And that's a better line, maybe. Huh, bluffing the pummel, huh? Bold. Oh, heaving pulverize, I get it. Um, all right, well, definitely going buff power here. Two up can still pulverize, but then I have uh, a response. Yep, so this, this was the good. Good line, I think. Punish them for their aggression. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, can't block for much here. Um, Nolrune 4. Yeah, they're, they're dead here. All right. Good game. Um, so we saw it, even though they have Nolrune 4 in that match, it might be better to have some equipment that maybe, uh, you know, functions better for your deck's proactive plan. Just because it's like, at Nolrune 4, you don't really have the, like, the resources or the cards to really capitalize on that. So, you know, as you saw, it ends up being like, if I attack on my turn and then on their turn... They still probably leak some and then can't do much. Um, so, you know, didn't much matter there. Uh, I don't know what the right call is, right? Because having, you know, having some null rune is definitely uh, definitely advantageous to stop the bleeding. But I kind of think like three or two or something is uh, the right call, depending on how your deck wants to play. Um, but anyway, yeah, this, this uh, Icelander list is pretty good. I'm debating on playing uh, Islander or Reinar, maybe. The problem with Islander is you get kind of run over by Prism, and uh, the mirror is kind of tricky, but, you know, that's fine. I guess I'm mostly just worried about Prism or people targeting Islander. Um, and then Reiner, I don't think is quite as good, but it's like you kind of, you know, sometimes it's tough against Warrior or Aggro decks. Even Eastlander isn't great, but 
you know, you can kind of just play your game, right? You can try to, uh, you know, just attack them on your first turn, take some damage, attack them again. It's like Blitz, you have such low life that uh, Reinar can be very threatening. Whereas in other formats, he's just like underpowered. Um, so I've yet to decide really. Uh, I'm taking a CC deck that I play for fun <laughs> rather than the meta call. So I really doubt I will get to day two um, of Worlds, you know, to even play in Blitz. But I decided to familiarize myself with the format, um, you know, just in case. And also there's a Battle Hardened on Sunday that, you know, is, is Blitz as well. So that was my thinking. And uh, thanks for watching. You can see that I think Kano took a pretty big hit. You got to be really good or really fortunate, I think, with Kano now to just not die to an aggro deck. But, uh, you know, Islander is still, still fun.